WaveLab 7 is an ideal tool for making cohesive audio CDs. Now, instead of using other programs that merely copy data to the actual CD to play back in CD players, we can actually make sure that the tracks are consistent in tone and volume and adjust pause times very easily. So let's take a look at how to do that in WaveLab 7. The easiest way I find is to right click at the top and open the basic audio CD window. From here, I could have any file that's in my audio edit window and I can drag it directly to my list and that will automatically add that to my CD list. Tracks can also be added by going to your file menu and selecting add tracks. Here I can take multiple files and now I'll hit open and it will automatically put my markers on all of those tracks. To change the order of the tracks I could just simply come here and move up and down. To see more information on timing and length of the tracks clicking on the little triangle icon to the left will reveal this information. So if I wanted to adjust the pause times between tracks, so if I wanted one second, 60 seconds, or zero seconds of pause between tracks, I can adjust that there. Now I can burn the CD directly from this window, but I often like to go into my audio montage and I'll select convert as audio montage. And now this will automatically lay out all my tracks for me in my montage. So now we'll look at all of our tracks here now our montage is a visual representation of what the CD is. We see our CD markers have been added automatically. Let's say I wanted to do something as simple as I wanted to fade out the last song on the CD. Or we see that different tracks here will actually have different volume levels. So one of the ideal things you want to do in mastering is make sure that you have consistency between tracks. Now my audio montage can be run through all of my plugins in my master section. So if I wanted to apply a multiband compressor to all of my tracks, I could do that globally. But sometimes you may find that you have to add processing on just an individual track. So if we right click on the name of the track here, we can add effect slots here that are dedicated to that particular track. So this way, if I wanted to add a little bit of Studio EQ just to that particular clip, I could now just activate this and apply processing individually for that actual file. Now, let's say we have pretty obvious level discrepancies between our tracks, and we wanted that to be consistent as well. WaveLab 7 offers a great tool called a Meta Normalizer, and what this will allow you to do is to either select the peak levels or probably ideally the RMS levels, and when I hit apply, this will take all the tracks in the project and make them the same consistent RMS levels. So this way, when I go from track to track to track, it's going to be the same volume. Now we can also work with our metadata for the CD. So if I wanted to come over here, we could go to our CD wizard. And as I do this, I could automatically adjust different components. I could add my ISRC codes. I could also add my UPC code right there. If I wanted to add additional CD text information, clicking on the T icon would allow me to enter all of my CD text. We could also come here and generate a CD report. So now if I wanted to come here, I could apply an image and when I, I could either make this an Adobe PDF or an HTML or send it directly to my printer and I could see track names, the start times, the pause times all printed out for me. So we could send this directly to a duplication or a replication house. Now WaveLab 7 can burn directly to a CD or it could also come here and create a DDP image for disk description protocol. So this way I could either burn it directly to my DVD RW that's inside of my computer, 
or I could actually burn it as a DDP image that I could send that data directly to Duplication House, which is what a lot of Duplication Houses would prefer instead of just a straight audio CD. So as you can see with WaveLab 7, not only just merely copying the data, but being able to make a cohesive statement, adjust your pause times, make consistency in levels as well as in tone, and be able to treat your audio CD and deliver it as an audio CD or a DDP image, WaveLab 7 is the ideal tool for working with audio CD creation.